Hi, family, friends, and colleagues. My name is Richard Solomon, and this is the fourth episode in our series, video series on enhancing human relationships through the fourth R, the relationship skills. And today we're going to share a new relationship skill, fourth R skill, giving constructive, corrective feedback. Now, all of these episodes were created in conjunction with my partner, Jackie Saunders, and myself. And as you all know by now, I assume the purpose of the series is to provide people, teachers, parents, grandparents, seniors, married folks, unmarried folks, uh, people in the business world, with very important fourth R skills, relationship skills, that enable people to have a more productive and more enjoyable life. Now, in episode three, parts one and two, we shared six different ways of giving constructive negative feedback. We said that the feedback should be requested, um, should be stated in behavioral terms, given to help both the speaker and the listener, has to relate to something the listener can change, should be stated as a request, and should be stated in relative, not absolute terms. Now, in today's episode, we're going to share a new relationship skill called giving and receiving constructive corrective feedback, CCF. So what is constructive corrective feedback? Constructive corrective feedback is letting someone know in a simple and easy way how to correct the situation. So when Jackie gave me constructive negative feedback and she told me that she didn't appreciate the fact that I caused crumbs to go on the floor when I opened the English muffin, that would be constructive negative feedback and I have to let her know that I heard what she said and I understand her feelings. But if Jackie were to give me constructive corrective feedback, she could have said, Richard Solomon, in the future, when you cut a bagel or you cut some, an English muffin, please do it over the sink so that there are no crumbs. All right, so constructive negative feedback is simply letting someone know what he or she does that you don't appreciate. Constructive positive feedback is letting someone know what you do appreciate. And corrective feedback offers a suggestion as to how to uh, solve that particular problem. Now, we urge you to discuss and practice these various skills, the CPF, the CNF, the CCF, constructive positive, constructive negative, and constructive corrective feedback with your friends and colleagues and students and teammates. Now, here's a little bonus I'd like to share with you which you can then discuss with uh, your partners in life. And it's very simple. When your partner or colleague does something that you appreciate, let them know. Simple. Don't keep it in. When your partner does something that you don't appreciate, give him or her constructive negative feedback. This eliminates people, situations, when they are silent sufferers. We needn't have people silently suffering in this world. Please consider giving your partner or the person you care for constructive negative feedback at the right time under the right conditions, the six conditions that we mentioned, including it should be helpful to both the speaker and the learner, etc. Now I have one other point I want to share with you and this is very important in all kinds of relationships. I call it the X, Y, Z of satisfying human relationships. So what's the X? The X is simple. When someone does something right, give them constructive, positive feedback. When someone does something uh, that you don't like, give him or her constructive negative feedback. And he or she may say, you don't like that? But I thought you always liked that. No, I don't like that. 
constructive negative feedback. I do not like when you do this. I do like when you do that. That's the X. But I don't like the Y. And what's the Z? Z is giving corrective feedback, constructive corrective feedback, telling him or her what I really would love for you to do is the Z. Now watch the Z. Folks, I'm not here to tell you what the Z is. I'm not here to tell you what the X is. I'm not here to tell you what the Y is. All I'm here to say to you is X, Y, Z. X, give him the positive or her the positive, constructive positive feedback. Y, let him or her know what you don't like. And Z, let him or her know the things you prefer that he do or she do. And once he or she does those new things and makes your relationship sweeter, more harmonious, more loving, more productive, give him or her constructive positive feedback. Now, in our next episode, we will share one of the most important fourth art or relationship skills of all the ones that we have done so far. And all of these are very important, but this is one that uh, Jackie and I will do together. It's called the seven step conflict resolution method, the CRM. Now, if you want to contact me, just go to my Facebook page, or you can send me an email at rdsolomonphd at gmail.com. These video episodes can also be found on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and even Twitter. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.